Pascal Bonavita here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the flamenco golpe, or the tap, with the index, finger, and the thumb. And we're getting started right now. Let's start with the most important thing, and that is protecting your guitar. Flamenco guitars come already with a golpe door, a protection, a plastic protection plate. In this case it's clear, sometimes it can be white. There's one here and one there. If you're playing a classical guitar or some other guitar that hasn't got a protection plate, uh, I advise you to put something on it because it will damage the surface of the guitar. So let's get started. The, uh, the tap itself, I tap with A and I, the ring finger and the middle finger together. Some people like to just use the A finger, but personally I find that a little bit weak. That's just the A, M and A together. I find that uh, a chunkier sound. In the beginning, just get used to the action of tapping. Put your thumb on the bass and then just bring your finger, uh, your finger down, your tapping finger or fingers. Just get used to the action and the sound. It's mainly with the flesh, the tip of the fingers, the, the fleshy sound. Okay, if you bend it too much, you're going to get nailed. That's not what we want. Even though I understand some of the old timers, the old school people would, they taught to tap with the nails, but that's not a good idea. Focus uh, on the, uh, the the finger pads, the fingertip pads, the fleshy part. And try to avoid the nail. You will get some nail, but you're focusing on the flesh. Okay. There are many different ways you can use the, the, uh, the tap. The... <coughs> There are many different ways you can use the tap in flamenco. And one of these ways is to bring the index finger up after the single tap on its own. For example, in Soliaris, uh, or, or with a bulleria. The tap is on its own. There is no index finger with the tap. So just get used to something like that. Just say A minor chord, tap and index finger up. Tap, index finger up. And then index finger down and tap. Because the tap can be used as an, as an ending uh, for example, at the ending of a faruka. Or the ending of a compass. Uh, so, get used to the actual using the tap on its own. And and with the index finger. As far as bringing it down, you need to bring the index finger down to play sometimes with the tap that's the hard part I index finger down and a golpe at the same time that's not easy when you start to be sure but just practice on its own and then just get used to the feeling the actions of it sound coming down is is weak that will come in time it's like a a 
like a pair of shears or scissors. And if you need to twist your wrist a little bit, bringing the, the index finger down, bringing the index finger down and twist your wrist a little bit to give more momentum to that tap. So you're flicking a little bit. Once you got used to it, you don't need to do that, but just in the beginning, you might it might be helpful to twist the wrist just to give, give it that extra run up. Don't lift your fingers too, far, too high, but lift them a little bit and give them a bit of a run up, a bit of advantage. <laughs> like you're trying to, I don't know, open a doorknob real quick. There's not much to be said. I can't really do it uh, in any simpler way or explain it any, any easier. It's really just a matter of getting the action of the tap on its own and the index finger. trying it on its own. Eventually you're going to have to, so get started with that. But twist the wrist a little bit, that might help. And even, look, some people do it, they they, uh, they have this religious thing about sticking that thumb to the top string. I don't. I, I lift the finger sometimes. So don't be afraid to lift, sorry, the thumb. Don't be afraid to lift the thumb. You don't have to have it stuck there. Like, it, like some sort of a dummy anchor. Lift the thumb up if you need to, and give it that little bit of a run up until you get used to it. I personally like to have my thumb a bit freer. I, I don't like it stuck there, uh, you know. I mean, it's a good anchor to come back to, but I don't believe in sort of gluing it there. down and up. It's a bit too much nail there. At the end, I will be giving you some practical examples uh, with things like uh, Faruca, Solia, Alegrias, Fandangos, Colombianas, Sevillanas, Bulleria, so, <laughs> so that you can practice these things with Golpe in them to give you some practical practice and uh, the uh, the link to the tab will be in the description okay i really waffled on a lot so far haven't i but let's carry on because what we're going to do now is um, talk about the thumb so we've covered the index finger the thumb is another important one and one i use all the time so here we go. What you're doing with the thumb, your uh, your M and A, which I use, is pretty much the same, except there is a slight sweeping of the M and A when you bring the thumb down, like that. The I find I find myself that. I'm sweeping, I'm doing a little sweeping motion. I'm not going all the way through. I'm just sort of hitting it down, not moving it. But the action of the fingers is as if you were going to sweep, like sweep it across. That's just a, a conscious understanding of an unconscious motion. When I'm coming down with a thumb, the fingers tend to want to curl in a bit as if they're giving it a bit of a flick. So uh, I, that's the first thing I wanted to say. There's a little bit of sweeping motion. We're not sweeping, we're just, that's that sort of run up to the actual tap. It's like a, a sweep as if you were going to follow through. So like that. And the other thing is when you actually play the thumb down, I tend to end up with that sort of 
configuration. Where the tip of the thumb meets the tip of the finger in that manner. Doing as if I'm going to pick something up. Okay, those are the two main things I wanted to mention. Anyway, let's go through some examples. I don't think that I can explain it any, any simpler than that. Uh, I think the best way is just to give you some examples. I'm racking my brain and I'm thinking, well, what else can I say about this? Uh, I can talk all I want, but I've basically shown you the, uh, the, the basic motions. I think that's pretty boring. So let's give you some practical examples that you can practice uh, some compasses. So let's start with Faruka. thumb at the end which ends up with that tip of the thumb meeting the tip of the finger <laughs> okay let's do some solia Alegrias. Fandangos. Colombianas. Sevianus. And a, uh, a little bit of basic bullet here. I think I've covered everything that I want to cover in this video. Uh, before you go, hit like if you do like it. And if you think I haven't covered everything or you want to make some comment, leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, I always love to hear some feedback, good or bad. Um, videos on that have full versions of these samples, um, I've linked to in the description if you want to see how these things are are used in practical pieces and they all have tabs so there you go i hope these little practice snippets examples at the end here are useful to you also uh look if i keep talking i'm gonna sort of you know get mixed up and uh, so i don't want to do that uh, i know 
my mind doesn't really sort of put things together very well when I'm in front of a camera. So let's just put an end to it and say uh, happy playing and I will see you in the next video. So see you later.